Good morning everyone. I am starting the day not how I would usually start a vlog anyway. I have just got out of the shower. I had a lovely long dog walk this morning and had PT as well and I've just washed and scrubbed myself to within an inch of my life. I also feel like I'm a little bit zoomed in. Yes I am. I am in full kind of festive party prep mode because we have an event this week i think that's alex arriving to do my nails i broke my nail um whilst i was away so getting a fresh set of i'll wait for the doggos they get very excited by alex so i'm freshly washed with my hair done i've put all of my masks and leave-in conditioners in um fresh set of nails i also have a meeting whilst i'm having my nails done but unfortunately i have to look like this for my meeting because i then need to do a fresh layer of tan because tomorrow we are heading down to the Savoy for an event and I'm looking very, very bougie. Alex is going to be doing my makeup for it and I have a very, very wonderful selection of dresses that I could potentially wear. I'm going to do a TikTok today, I think, of me trying to decide which one and hopefully get some opinions on what I should wear. Um, so I'm going to head downstairs, get my nails done and get ready for my meeting outfit of the day because I know that you're going to want to know this one is my Soho farmhouse green dressing gown with my Holland Cooper slippers uh, feeling exceptionally bougie nice little kink in my hair as well from where I've had it tied up but looking good <laughs> as mentioned Alex is here and returning the lipstick that she stole from the last shoot I didn't steal it. Alex I don't steal anything power yeah. stole the lipstick yeah <laughs> That's me. I don't steal anything. I accidentally... Accidentally stole it. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Fresh nails and Alex managed to give my stubby broken nail a bit of a point so it's not looking too bad. But we went for Terracotta Dreams. Please ignore the swatches on my hand. I've also just been rummaging through my beauty pie order that I've been saying I was going to unbox for ages and just not got round to it. Um, I bought two of their unlipsticks. Very intrigued to see what these are going to be like on because they're kind of like a balm, but like a matte balm. Very, very interesting. And you can hear the dogs. <laughs> and then we've also been sampling candles which are all very festive, but I have some more candles arriving for the Christmas install, which is gonna be very exciting. I have also just taken delivery of some new Holland Cooper goodies that I ordered. So I've got some bits for riding, some Holland Cooper base layers, and this beautiful, like it's almost like Prince of Wales check jacket with contrasting, I think this is either suede or Alcantara patches, but I loved this. There's also some trench coats in here. This is the newest one to launch. You might have seen this on um, Advertised in Vogue at the moment. I'm gonna try some of these on. I also finally got myself some proper riding gloves as well. So I went for the Holland Cooper ones. I don't actually know what's in here, but um, yeah, I'll go through all of these with you at some point. Oh, and my shooting jacket just arrived as well. So I wanted to get this so that it's it frees up my hand. Oh, this is so nice as well. This has got like um, almost like quilting on the inside, so it's a lot warmer, but basically I really struggled when we were shooting because my arms weren't very free, so I decided to get myself the Holland Cooper one, which looks like it's actually a really nice shape as well. And this is a very similar uh, fabric to, I think it's actually the same fabric as my field coat as well. So a little two piece going on there. So nails are freshly done and I've just done a fresh layer of Saint-Tropez Express mousse. This is always my go-to for events. And I'm gonna show you what I look like and how crazy I look when I've just done my tan. So I always look like, the best way that I can describe the guide color is it initially looks a little bit like muddy. Now I'm gonna leave this on all day so that it develops. I personally like to tan in the morning because I'll put something on that's like black so it won't get ruined by the tan. But I feel like the natural movement of my body creates a better blend as well. I'll leave it on my hands for like an hour and then I'll wash it off my hands. But generally I find that if I sleep with my tan on, this is just a personal thing and everyone's different when it comes to tanning. But if I sleep, I end up with lines because I'm just not that good at like blending it on. So if I wear it throughout the day, my body moves, my skin moves, and it just gets a really, really nice blend. So I've done two pumps on basically every extremity and now I'm gonna get my makeup on and do my hair for the day. Please excuse how utterly awful I am looking at every stage when I pick up this camera and I know people get really upset with me for saying that and I apologize it's it's a me issue it's not a you issue and it's definitely nothing about you it's just 
me probably needing to work on my own confidence with things. So I'm sorry if that upsets you when I do it. It's definitely not intended to upset you. It's very different when you stare at yourself all the time and Sometimes I like to think, oh my gosh, you know, I don't scrub up too badly. And then sometimes I come on camera and I'm like, wow, <laughs> this is like shape shifting. You are all beautiful, okay? And I know that you'll all have your own issues and, and hang ups and things, but you're all beautiful. And I'm beautiful too. Um, but you just, sometimes I'm like, that is not, that is not what you all signed up for. However, I wasn't planning on coming on at this point, but I can already tell that this podcast is going to change my life. I'm four minutes into this podcast and oh my God, so many things that have been said in this, I am like, wow. So this is gonna be a controversial one as well. This is Shia LaBeouf on Real Ones with John Berntel. Now, I don't know anything about this podcast. I was just served a um, clip of this interview and it was really quite intriguing because I know that there was a lot of negative press about Shire and things like that. And so it just piqued my interest because it was very interesting to see someone that had been, you know, almost like ostracized being given a platform. And so really, really interesting. Wow. Wow. So many things I can like, I can, I can relate to. The thing where he talks about being, oh my God, he's like, Basically, there was this one person that spoke about him and he's like, that person saved my life because I had to experience ego death to be able to save my life. And so what he means by that, and this may not, um, may not be understandable, but like, and I can hugely relate to this because I had put myself in a position where, you know, me being at the epicenter of my world, you know, I thought that genuinely it was like life and death, me getting a video up and me making sure that all of my videos are met, like my ego was so big. And then I had people make videos about me in the past. I've had, you know, people that I've done podcasts with make videos about me. I've had personal people make videos about me. And I, in that moment, I experienced ego death and it was the best thing that ever happened to me. And in all honesty, I, I see your comments and I see your messages and I know a lot of you email me to say how wonderful it is to have seen my journey over the last few years. That is because I experienced ego death and everything was put into perspective. Nothing else mattered. Like my job, I thought my job was everything. I thought me being like the best blogger was, the, was important, it's not. It is not. He also said, speaks about like how he was spiritually, I'm gonna have to rewind it, but like four minutes into this podcast, he's basically saying that he was spiritually dead. Like he had nothing, you know, he, there was no spirituality in his life whatsoever. And like, uh, there's just so much of this. I think it's gonna be, it's two hours long, so it's gonna take me a while to get through it. But again, not my usual type, like I'm very broad with my content when it comes to podcasts as well. Like I'll listen to the Airy Fairy Gardening podcasts. I'll listen to Jake Humphrey's like high performance podcasts. And then I'll listen to things like this. And I am so excited to get into this. So I'll link it in the description box down below because four minutes in, wow. And this is what I love because I remember there will be people that will probably get annoyed at me for talking about Shia LaBeouf. I don't know if, um, John Berntal is controversial in any way, shape or form, but I'm not someone that just because somebody does something wrong, I never want to hear, hear from them again. I'm really interested in other people's perspective. I'm, I'm really interested in explanations and other sides to stories. I don't make up my mind just based on one thing that was served to me that I disagree with. And I feel like that's something that happens quite a lot in this new digital age. People have served a video or a snippet of something on like TikTok or whatever. And they're like, right, that's fact. I don't ever want to hear about or hear of that person ever again. I'm not like that in any way, shape or form. I really like hearing from people and hearing people's stories and perspectives. And this really piqued my interest. So. If you're like me, then definitely, oh my gosh, I can't wait to get into it. Okay, I'm gonna get my makeup on. I promise I'll be a goddess when I'm finished. Can you see how dark it is in this room? Obviously I've got my ring light on at the moment, but that is much more of an accurate 
representation of how dark it is in here. Um, I'm just trying on my dresses for tomorrow. These are three dresses from my next collection with Karen Millen, which is so exciting. I think I'm gonna wear this one, but I filmed a TikTok that I'm hoping people will help me decide what to wear. So I'm gonna head downstairs. Well, I'm gonna put something comfy on. I'm gonna change into that. Well, that's kind of the same thing, but I'm gonna put something comfy on, head downstairs to do a bit of editing and carry on with the day. And this is what I meant by comfy and cozy. It's very Lydia Millen. I think it's a wool and cashmere mix jumper dress in a beautiful sort of autumnal, rich tan hue. And then I've popped on a Holland Cooper scarf, which I just thought looked really lovely with it. I've got my um, Hermes belt with it on as well. And then the piece de resistance the Holland Cooper slippers. <laughs> well, it is a comfy and cozy one, so I'm gonna go and sit in the kitchen and um, get on with my work. Hello, Tom Toms. Oh, mommy has been packing upstairs. It's time for you to go out for wee-wees before we go to bed. It has been a long day, a long day of productivity and getting stuff ticked off. And um, I've just put together my outfits for going down to London. I'll take you up and show you those. Um, I look very glowy. I need to do my skin in me this evening and get myself ready for bed because otherwise I'm gonna be a sleepy possum tomorrow. I'm gonna put the boys out though because this is their least favorite thing, especially when it's as blustery as it is at the moment. <gasps> Goodness me. Also, Ali and I um, had dinner. We had fish and chips and peas, which I have to say, I need to do a um, five things I love at the moment because I know that you guys loved it. And definitely peas is going in my five things that I love at the moment. Just such an easy way to add more veg. Like you literally just pour them into a bowl, add a splash of water and bang them in the microwave for four minutes. And it just gets you a bit more color. I know that you can do fancy roasted vegetables and things like that. But sometimes, in all honesty, you just can't be bothered. And you just want to get some colour on your plate, get some goodness, and um, do it quickly. So I've, I just love having them in my freezer, ready to go. Anyway, puppy dogs, time to go outside, my loves. Puppy dogs, it is wee time. Now don't you roll over. Don't you roll over. This little one likes to roll over when I try to pick him up. Come on. Gosh, you are so... because you get very upset when you have a have a um, accident, don't you? You get very upset. You don't like it. You don't like sleeping when you've had a wee wee. You get very upset. There. Off you go. Just smallies, welcome back. suitcase packing is in full swing so I have two looks that I've got to choose between for the following day when I have a day of meetings so I've got this Holland Cooper trench which is absolutely stunning like look at that I think that's a Prince of Wales check it's beautiful and a little Amazon cable knit underneath or I have my Karen Millen beautiful butterscotch coat is that butterscotch no oatmeal coat um I then have another um, jumper dress underneath which is an oatmeal colour as well. I've also got the, the Burberry check out as well because I always think it looks so good with this, this kind of colour. If anyone ever tells you that Burberry check has gone out of fashion, it hasn't. It never has and it never will. As long as it's this classic one, the very classic, the one that you see in all of the scarves and all of the campaigns, this will never go out of style. We know better now. Ignore anyone who tells you that any part of a brand's heritage is not fashionable and I literally don't care. Bags and shoes laid out. I've also got another look here, which is an Amazon jumper dress with a Holland Cooper blazer, some boots. So I've got some options, um, but I'm gonna go to bed now. Good morning, everyone. Um, I am just up and 
getting myself prepped because today is the crown premiere day and um, we are going down to stay at the Savoy which is just the most magical place in London. I'm so excited, you have no idea. I don't know if Ali has ever stayed at the Savoy with me. I'm not sure. The garden crew have just arrived and cracking on in the garden. I have Alex coming to do my makeup today, which is actually a bit of a dream. If you remember when I went to my last premiere, I was like, do you know what? I really wanna get Alex to do my makeup because I always feel so lovely when she does my makeup. And like I said in that video, I find these things incredibly daunting and um, a bit like a duck out of water. And so um, I just wanna feel my best, hence why I've chosen a lovely dress and why I'm getting my makeup done. I'm gonna do my hair myself because it's literally just a messy bum a messy bum a messy bun <laughs> and you don't need any finesse for that I don't think um I'm gonna also whiten my teeth because I always do this before an event like I just think you know like getting your nails done doing all of your little beauty prep things it's like not damage limitation I feel like that's quite strong but like it just makes me feel like I'm putting my best foot forward and whilst I know it's the dogs yeah, I just like to feel like I'm putting my best foot forward, if that makes sense, because um, whilst I know nobody is there to see me in reality, it's such a wonderful experience to even be in the opportunity, like in the position to go. So I, I, like how many times do you get to say that you get to do this? Not very often. And there'll always be those people that are like, I'm supposed to be here. And I will always be that person that's like, it's really nice that I'm here. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be here, but it's really nice. Anyway, I'm going to get my teeth um, whitening on and you will have heard me talk about this brand so much over the years. You might not remember, but before COVID hit, I went to Ireland with Spotlight Oral Care and I kind of felt like I was doing a bit of an introduction. I think that they were really well known in Ireland, but in the UK, they were just kind of coming over. And so I was, I think I was like the only UK based influencer that went over. Not that that's like a rite of passage or anything, but I think that's how I'm justifying how I know that they were just kind of moving into the UK market. Well, now they are literally like everywhere and I'll see like, they're just working with so many people and it's so wonderful to have been like on that journey with them and still be working with them now as well because it's a brand that I'm incredibly passionate about. I literally have a wad of their whitening strips in my top beauty drawer just here because whenever I'm going like out with the girls or whenever I'm doing anything special like this, it's just part of my routine. And they have released their new professional LED whitening system, which is what I'm gonna be using today. It's basically the strips, but at the top level. So you're gonna be using an LED mouth guard at the same time, um, as well as their new whitening powder. Now, a little tip from me, the whitening powder is actually almost sold out. So um, this is sort of like one of those opportunities where you can get your hands on it and you probably won't be able to get your hands on it for a long time. We also have a very, very special saving, which is only for my audience, which I think is very nice of them. This kit on its own is worth about £149.90 to be precise. And today you can pick it up for £80, which is a saving of about 69%, 69%, 69 pounds if my maths are any good, which unreliable. So I'll put it in the description box down below. <laughs> Just a few facts about Spotlight Whitening. It's created by, first of all, two literally amazing female founders. They're both dentists as well, which fills me with some, like quite a lot of confidence. I think that there's a lot of brands out there that are just, you know, started by big burly men at the top thinking, hmm, but this is actually two ladies who are so lovely, I've met them. And absolute powerhouses and take this incredibly seriously as well they're going to be they're putting together products that are not only better for the environment but also better for your teeth as well because i'm one of those people that has naturally quite like dull teeth and so i've always used whitening and more gentle whitening in order to lift them and give them a bit of a sparkle especially for days like today. Just a few other facts also about them. They're, one thing I know, because I use their toothpaste, in fact, <laughs> toothpaste is actually in here as we speak. So 
This toothpaste is made from sugar cane, so it's a biodegradable substance that um, is better for the environment, basically. Also, their whitening strips have no palm oil in as well, so you just have those little pieces of mind as well. You don't need a code to make the £69 savings on these. I'll pop a link exactly to where you can shop it in the description box down below, so no code for this. But I do have a code for the rest of the website and that code is for 40% off. It's literally just Lydia, just pop it in at checkout and that will get you 40% off on the rest of the site. Their Christmas kits, which I always, I don't know whether it's just me, but a kit like this, like a, oh wow, oh my gosh, I didn't even know, I haven't opened these yet. So you've got a Foreo in here as well, so you can get like almost like a, a whole beauty routine in here. By the way, this is the best dental floss ever. I have used every dental floss going and it's the perfect size to actually get in between your teeth but still make a difference. Some of them are so thin, it's like waving a pepper army in a football stadium. Anyway, so you get the toothpaste, you get the um, bamboo like travel toothbrush, you have, so this is the teeth whitening powder which like I said is almost sold out. Um, there's mouthwash, floss and also some whitening strips as well um so basically on these there's the black one which i'm is it black or is it blue blue <laughs> you've got the blue one which i'm guessing is if you're gifting this to like your husband or something like that i know that you can gift whatever color you want to anyone but um just generally speaking i would say that this would be a lovely one for a partner and then they oh i just scratched myself with it and then they also have the pink version as well um to be honest i'd probably go for the blue one so there we go um, but same in here, except you get, and then what is this? Oh, a teeth whitening pen, that's like for top ups. Um, a pink Foreo, you get the whitening powder as well, which like I said, is sold, is nearly sold out. So um, you'll make a saving of 40% if you use my code Lydia at checkout. And I just think that's a nice little touch for you to maybe pick up a stocking filler or you know someone that is very big on their oral health care. And you think, do you know what? That's a gift for them. Or it's just a practical one. like. This is the time to buy people presents that they're actually going to use. And we all brush our teeth every single day. So to have the good like arsenal is pretty much the only way to do it, I would say. Everything to cover your oral health care. Anyway, I'm gonna get my teeth whitening strip on because Alex is gonna be here in an hour and I'm gonna get my teeth whitened and I'm gonna get my hair done, hopefully, so that she can just throw some makeup at my face, which is not what she does at all, and then crack on with getting down there. So directions are tear open the foil packet to find a top and bottom strip. Place the shortest strip on the bottom teeth, the longest strip on the top teeth. Turn on the LED device by pressing on the button for one second. Place the LED device in your mouth. After 15 minutes, the, lights, the light will automatically switch off. Remove the device, but leave the strips in place for another 15 minutes, using the strips for a total of 30 minutes. Ha! Huh. Repeat every day for 10 days to reveal a whiter and brighter smile. Lovely. Right, let's get these on then. This is always the most undelicate way of doing things. Like it, it's just it's just not pretty, okay? <laughs> I press it in to all of the like little nooks and crannies. <laughs> there will be people waiting to screen grab this. <laughs> and then the bottom one. Out of your handy little case, you will take your LED light, press it and hold it for one second, and put it in. Okay, I'm midway through, and I've just taken the, the light out of my mouth. I didn't feel like I needed to do that on camera. So I'm gonna leave them on for another 15 minutes. Um, I'm midway through my, doing my hair as well, so um, I'll see you in 15. Okay, my hair is still a work in progress, so just ignore the fact that it looks like I've got curtains. But I'm gonna take the strips off now. I actually cannot believe how white my teeth are. Wow. Wow. I actually can't believe how white they are. That's nuts. You can almost see the stains lifting off them. That is wild. Sorry, I've not whitened my teeth 
for quite a while and that is insane. There are no filters on this. I never use any filters. You should probably know that by now, but wow. I'm going to be like this all night. <laughs> okay, Alex is here. She's about to do my makeup. Um, she's also just had a very, very horrifying moment where she's found a hair growing out of her chin. That's a one pluck away from... Yeah, but they say, you know, when you pull one out, five come to its funeral. <laughs> no, five come to its funeral. <laughs> That's the same, no? no? I have never heard that, but I'm so yeah. stealing that. That is gold. That's what happens. Um, so on my base, I've put the Dior uh, Prestige, because this is pretty much one of my favorite foundations ever, mixed it with the By Terry Brightening CC Serum for an extra glowy glow. And Alex made me put more on because I don't really put much foundation on, so, you know. Just a little bit more on just because I'm going such a long time. Did you ask me? I told you Prima Ballerina, didn't I? It's so funny, I was sat there making slime and um, sand candles. And I said, she's like, what are you watching? I showed her. She was just like, oh my gosh, you're definitely the, the last one, Mum. She looks so nice. I know. No. Just a good egg. What's that smell? Oh! <laughs> 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 it's that. I've not even put on perfume yet, but it's um, the Love Body Lotion from um, Beauty Pie. Oh, really? It's the first morning I'm using it. It smells really nice. Does it? Yeah. It smells like a really delicate perfume. Yeah, yeah. That's it. It's exactly what it is. Mm. Yeah. That, do you know what? I don't love... I don't <laughs> love the name of it, um, <laughs> because I like more... See you know what I'm like. Um, yeah. But I thought I'm going to try it because I used another one from them. And um, they've discontinued it because I think it's a seasonal one. Right. And so I thought, oh, I'll try that one. But that's good. Yeah, it smells really like subtle. Yeah, not like overpowering. Oh, okay, I'm going to use that more often. I love, a, I love a cheeky, nice smelling body cream and yeah. then layering it with a nice fragrance. Not like my, uh, my so... What was it? Oh my god, Alex sprayed something <laughs> at the shoot the other day and I was like, what is that smell? It smells like impulse. Like, it was honestly... Oh my god, sorry, <laughs> the, the wave of horror of like kissing boys when I was like 14 oh or whatever. Gosh. You just really like sickly. Anything vajazzled. Vajaz Do you know what a vajazzle is? Yeah, right. it's when you put uh, pretty sparkly bits on your vajayjay. Yeah. <laughs> But what I'm saying is, is that it, you like that kind of thing. You would totally have my right things, <laughs> like not. <laughs> no, I wouldn't anymore. Anymore. <laughs> Optimal that's, word in that. That's, uh, get right on my nerves now. Yeah. <laughs> like, caught in the lace of my knickers. <laughs> I should receive my parcel today. What parcel? Because I'm a micro influencer. Oh yeah, Alex has got her first paid job on Instagram. I'm so happy. So make sure you go look and like. Yeah. <laughs> Follow. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna press some powder into your lid a little bit. What you do all day? Be my worst nightmare. Really? Well, I'm not naturally like. Fashionista, like I, if I put something together, I have to go and ask Sienna, should I, which boot should I wear? <laughs> like, I love that you're asking your 10 year old. <laughs> yeah, she loves it though, she absolutely <laughs> loves it. Oh, it's going really awkward when you film, you know. I know, so does everyone else. <laughs> everyone knows that Alex goes really awkward when they when oh. do You think that you would be used to it, but you're not. I'm not used to it. I'm surprised when I got the camera out, you didn't go, oh, did you? I didn't do my makeup. <laughs> <laughs> No, I didn't. No. Oh, don't, you're gonna make me have a hot flush. <laughs> not loud. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want to come to the crown. I want to go to the crown. Fabulous, right, I'll get those sorted then. My job is so full on. My job? Yeah. Do you really think? Yeah. If someone was coming at me with one question, I'd be like, right, stop. I need another coffee. <laughs> because this is too much information. I don't know what street we're going down. <laughs> Just get me there. Okay? <laughs> stop telling me this stuff. <laughs> Would it be easier if I turn my chair? Yes, actually, that might. 
Thank you. It's all right, I'll just be the brains of the operation. <laughs> like a egghead. I got the shoes. I got the bag to make me a princess. I I'm guess. so excited for your outfit. You're yeah. not going to wear it down there, are you? No. How are you going to have your hair? Like this. Obviously, better than this. It's not done properly yet. But like what, like I had when I when I, it was shot, low bun, low messy bun. I guess that means that Alex thinks my hair looks rubbish. How are you gonna have your hair? Well, I just spent half an hour doing it. Didn't she just say it looks? Yeah, yeah, right. Oh uh, yeah, me too. It's just this is just, this is a really interesting internet culture to me in itself. Anyway, um, especially obviously because these two girls, um, well, one of them follows me, but it's like it's very you can't sit with us. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm just moving back into like horse riding and really enjoying it, and I'm just living my life and, and yeah. loving it. And they're like laughing at me on the internet, and I was like, this is such a a, a funny but also completely foreign. This is one of those things where I'm like, this is completely foreign to me. And it's always been the case, whenever people have made videos about me in the past, it's always been like, that will be the vid, I remember that I did a podcast with a girl once, and um, the, she, she put the podcast out and it was like, she, it was the best viewed podcast and video that she'd ever done. So then, to re when I wouldn't do another <coughs> podcast, she made a sort of like, why does everyone hate Lydia, Mill Lydia Millen video, to capitalise on those views again. And so it's, not, it's nothing that I'm like not used to, but it's just a funny internet culture that I'm so glad that I'm able to see it for what it is now. Because if this had happened like two years ago, I would have been so upset. I would have been honestly devastated. Well, I was upset. Aww. But I was just like... No. Ali was really upset as was well. He? Yeah, no, yeah. It's not nice. Like, <clears throat> oh yeah, we love her too. No, you f***ing don't if you're going to put something like that up. Like, it's not nice. There's one thing having <clears throat> the conversation <throat> in like a WhatsApp. This is the thing I've always said. Like, it's, there's one thing having a conversation in a WhatsApp group. But like, say if I was talking to, to Carrie about you. Yeah. Imagine me doing that in front of you. But also then standing up in front of like a crowd of people and doing it. In front. Like, yeah. it's, it's not, it's not a... You're not doing something like that with kindness and love in your heart. No. You're, it's a very different thing that's being done there. And I just thought it was, yeah. No, I just didn't like that at all. <laughs> of all of the people, Alex is always the person that like goes in in the comment section to like defend me. No. You're like my knight in shining armor. Like, <laughs> no! <laughs> I might write on her, I might write on her. Your pin looks Take it off. <laughs> Alex. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know what possessed you. No, no, because then that makes you the same. I know, but it makes I want the to same. say it. And so that was bad. the thing I actually wrote on that guy's video because it was my that's my first time anyone's ever done a reaction video, and um, I actually wrote. I said, "Oh crumbs." Um, <laughs> uh, what? Did you say "oh crumbs"? Yeah, it was so funny. I put "oh crumbs." I think this is my first stitch on TikTok. Um, thank you for going easy on me. Um, if you want help with your ring light, let me know. <laughs> Did he reply? Well, yeah, but I think he thought I was being mean, but I was genuine. But oh. I think I think probably he was on the defensive because there was lots of people being defend like defending me in the comments. So I yeah. think he was on the defensive, and he was like, like I said, um, you seem genuinely happy. I'm like that. I call me if you want a ring light. For the loads. There she is. As I always say. People that do like negative, or not ne even negative, like people that do things that maybe aren't always with kindness in their heart, mm. they're the people that need the most love. I learned that from Jacqueline, and that's the best lesson that I ever learned. Do you know what? That's true. They are. They are always the people that need the most love. They are the. There's a reason why they're doing that. There's a reason why people. Um, are at, like attempting to be funny at other people's expense. There's a reason why people think that they're entitled to people not living their life, and it'll be something that they they either won't they weren't taught or something or whatever. Mm. And those are the people that need the most love, and that has changed everything and how I respond to people online now. Everything mm. I respond completely differently. Like nothing is an attack to me anymore. More than anything, it's an attack on themselves. Yeah.
because everything that goes on the internet is your legacy. Mm. This is the thing that like, nothing is deletable on the internet. So imagine like one day your nan gets TikTok and she goes onto your page and maybe your nan thinks that that's the right thing to do, I don't know, but she goes onto your TikTok page and sees you being like that to another person. My nan would be, my grandma would be absolutely mortified, be devastated that yeah. I would be doing that to someone. So I think that that's always the thing that you have to think is that people get very comfortable doing things that they think don't matter, but they actually live there for a very long time, if not an entire lifetime. Have a look in the mirror for me, obviously. Oh, that's lovely. You've got glitter on the side of your head. There's nothing wrong with the side of my head. <laughs> oh yeah, that's you. I don't own anything glittery, Alex Alexander Power. <laughs> Two seconds. You've put your thumb in something glittery and now it's game over. Gonna have to redo my entire makeup. This is going to be a stand standalone video in itself of just me and you putting the world to rights. <laughs> Are we putting lashes on? No. You love lashes. I'm just not into it. No, but I like your side ones. No, I don't want lashes. I like my own lashes. Right. <clears throat> what do you like underneath your eyes? Whatever you did on the shoot last time, you made my eyes paparoo. Mm -hmm. Can I have a look at that sponge? Why is your sponge so much bigger than my sponge? Because you have to wet it. Uh, <laughs> Feel it. Yeah, yeah, okay. You, you have to have it damp. Okay, okay. Because I was like, I'm sure I remember yours being really spongy. Big. Yeah. Mm. Charge extra for that. <laughs> so if anyone is wondering what I use on Lydia's eyes, I like to mix the NARS concealer with the MAC Prep and Prime Highlight in Bright Forecast, and this one's vanilla. And this just adds a little bit of coverage, but also a little bit of brightness. And then to add more brightness, to really make her eyes pop, but just a small amount, we use the Banana Low Lighter. Why is that awkward when you put me on camera? <laughs> Why is she taking the look out of me? Just knock my confidence. No! <laughs> I'm only joking. No, because they'll literally take that as like true, and then this is what they say. Oh no, she doesn't. Yeah. She's, she's they doesn't. say that I'm horrible to you, and yet you're the person that like defends me the most. I'm horrible to her off camera. Yeah, she's clever. I'm trying to build my career here, so I have to be, yeah. <laughs> I have to be nice. Um, but I'm not normally that nice to her, so no. don't worry about it. Okay. Plus she pays me, so I don't mind. <laughs> That was what we said about the other person. There was someone that was like, they commented on my video and they were like, the way Lydia treats Alex is disgusting. And I was like, Alex, you should just respond. Listen, she pays me the big bucks. She does. <laughs> so she can tap dance on my hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, honestly, guys. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, that just adds some coverage. A little bit of brightness, not too much. So with the banana low lighter, just in the inner corners here. And the sides. Someone wrote to me the other day and said, Alex, you're going to start your own YouTube channel. I was like, listen, I can't even navigate TikTok right now. Yes, you can. I can like and comment. If I do remember rightly, I was the person that told you to start your own YouTube channel and Instagram properly a very long time ago. I mean, you wouldn't get it every Monday, put it that way. I'd get it once a month. <laughs> It'd be like, guess what you're getting, when you're getting. <laughs> I don't think you always have to have a, a routine. And sometimes a bit of spontaneity can go a long way. Mm, true. So that has just brightened up the underneath eye area. As you can see, there's a little bit of excess there, so we're just going to buff that in. And I really like to blend my makeup. I just think it looks so much better. I know some people like it to look a little bit harsh and looks good on camera and... Oh no, I hate that. No, I don't like it. I like it to be really blended. Yeah, yeah. I like the make. I don't know whether it's just me, but I like the makeup to look as good in person as on camera. Yeah, that's it. It's not one or the other. No. Right, have a look in the mirror for me. Gorgeous. Right, so we're going to do your bronze. Yeah. We'll bronze you up. Yeah. Um, we'll deepen up the eyes a little bit as well. We'll okay. do all the popping and... Popping. 
Right, in terms of mascara, we just use a normal one, yeah? Yes. So if you cover your lashes for me. I was thinking we could go with the Tweezman ones, but we'll use the Pro Master Lash Curler. So I think these curl, give you more of a curl. So wow. really make sure your lashes pop. This is Lydia's own mascara, by the way. So she uses this directly from the tube. The perks of being me. Yes. Sorry. Can't get into the corners and crevices though. So I'm using the Lice Bronze. Lydia's got a really good bone structure already. So, I thought I would say that. Thanks mate. You're welcome mate. It's an extra 10 pound for that compliment. Bitch. <laughs> 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 um, so we don't need too much, but again, I'm just really blending and buffing it out. <clears throat> And then I just apply a very small amount of the slightly darker shade just to deepen it slightly in those areas. She doesn't need much, but because she's got a natural shadow here, so you don't want to make it too harsh. And once that's all on, get a lovely big brush. Oh. Oh, I've got one of these, Alex. Oh, what have we got? Wait, did you get one in your kit? No. Tweeze them and brow brush. Oh, I could literally sit and comb my brows with this all day. Like, this is the most satisfying thing. Let me show you. Oh. <laughs> when you've got as, like, wiry brows as me. No, I've not, um... Never even seen those, to be fair. Well, wow. you learn something new every day. Sorry. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's the eye gone. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that is my hair finished and I've gone with the Karen Millen mid axi coat for today with the matching kind of cashmere oatmeal dress underneath. I think that's really, really lovely with my Alexander McQueen belt, Le Boutin boots, Birkin Cellier and I've got a different outfit for tomorrow when um, I have meetings. But I actually think I'm gonna leave this vlog here because it's kind of been like a get prepped with me for the red carpet and lots of other bits and pieces in between. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna leave this vlog here and then head on my merry way down to London and hopefully show you the wonders of the Savoy because my goodness, I love any excuse to visit this hotel. It is absolutely spectacular. So I will see you guys in my next vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.